Hello everyone, my name is Hawa Saidu Mohammed, popularly known as Jaruma, Nigeria's most trusted, most successful and highest paid sex therapist. And I'm also the most bullied person in Nigeria. Like for the past 10 years, I've been bullied like this over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so it's unfortunate that, you know, right now in Nigeria, we're all talking about uh, Sylvester. So right now in Nigeria, this is what everyone is concerned about. This is just all we care. We, we only care about Sylvester. So it's so unfortunate to see a 74 year old billionaire that we respect, Mr. Ned Moko. He didn't post a single picture of Sylvester on his page. He didn't send any condolences to Sylvester's parents. And he's talking about Jaruma. Jaruma, Jaruma, Jaruma. Who is Jaruma? So now all his 74 year old billionaire friends are also asking. Everybody is here waiting to see everybody like now i have everybody's undivided attention because everybody is waiting for um jaruma's response you know net umoko is someone we all respect you know we respect you so much and uh i think your pr team you need to sack all of them everybody needs to go you need to employ jaruma as your pr you know this is so this statement about jaruma and your wife, your wife of 10 years, someone that you've taken your clothes off, you lay down on the bed, you've seen her nakedness, she's seen, her na she's seen your nakedness, she climbed on top of you, you climbed on top of her, hmm? with three children, and this is all you have to say about a woman of 10 years, your PR team, you need to sack all of them, this is so unprofessional, and all of you are very, very wicked and heartless to allow this to be posted publicly now that the whole country is talking about Sylvester. This is so unprofessional. This is so unfair. Now, because Jaruma is a victim, yes, I'm a victim of this constantly writing about me back to back. You're writing about me every day. You're writing about me seven times. And people writing about me seven times in a day, back to back to back to back every day. I know that this is every Thing, every single thing you have said about your Moroccan wife, Leila, this is just to tarnish her image. You said that um, Leila is playing the victim and making you look bad. Leila has never said anything nasty about you. She's never come out to say anything nasty about you. She's just posting her pictures, you know, trying to be happy, trying to move on with, with life. And all these things you've written about her, your children, her children are gonna grow up and see this is what daddy said about mommy. You said to the whole world that Jaruma is divorced. I don't have a husband. I sell the almighty Kaya Mata. I sell the almighty aphrodisiac to hold a man. Yet I cannot hold my own man. How about daddy? How about daddy? A whole you 70, four year old. Daddy, that we respect. How about that? How can you say this about your daughter now? Daddy, I respect you. If you say this about me now and I talk back, then they'll say Jeremiah doesn't have a good feeling. Eh? People look for Jeremiah's trouble, you know, and then when Jeremiah responds, they'll say, hey, Jeremiah troublemaker. But no, when last time we have moved on from this, you put out this statement three weeks ago. You said that, uh, or let's say your wife. She said that she didn't use any kaya matcha from Jaruma. She didn't use any aphrodisiac. We've moved on. And now, three weeks later, you're doing the same thing and even more. That's kind of like a woman saying that, you know, hey, if your kaya matcha is working now, at least your own husband, your husband has left you. Yet, you said my husband left me two years ago, but you don't see my husband publishing all the things you have said about your own wife for 10 years. You don't see my husband calling me out, writing these nasty things about me, calling me a pig, calling me disgusting, calling me, t excusing me of sleeping with other men while I was married. No. And you don't see me saying all these nasty things about my husband either. Do you see Davido saying these nasty things about Shoma? Do you see Shoma saying these nasty things about Davido? Come on, daddy, you're 74, we respect you. You're supposed to be, you know? You know, you're supposed to give us a good example to follow, which means do not talk about your spouse in this manner. And really, if Kai 
matter is not working on you. How can a little girl of 21, hmm, your whole PR, she controlled you and your whole PR to type this, five pages. Ha, oh, more man. Jaro, my product is working on you. It's working. You cannot say my product is not working. If not, how can, how did a 21 year old girl allow this to be published on your own page with your own words? Writing it like it's you because they said this is, this is what you wrote. You as the billionaire Ned Wonko. This isn't uh, Regina's writing. She wrote her own last week. As in, we know it's her writing, but uh, she said it's you, it's from you. Like I said before, you need to sack your whole PR team. Right now, we're all about Sylvester. And for the past one year, I haven't been posting luxury backgrounds on my video. No, when, I'm, when I want to make a video, I just post one little background like this. I've been telling everybody that I'm broke. I said, Jeremiah is broke. I don't have money. I don't have money. Please help me. So I, I'll do like this so that people will not see the background that I am. Now you see, you see what you cost. Now we'll see the background. So whose father is now paying for this now? Whose father is now paying for Jaroma to live in to live in somewhere places like this? As you, as you all know, Jaroma has had the most luxury vacations in Nigeria since 2014. Jaroma has had the most expensive luxury vacations in the whole of Nigeria since 2014. And you said Jaroma is a prostitute. She's sleeping with all the rich politicians and all the uh, uh, yeah, rich politicians, the billionaires. So who's paying? You said I don't have a husband, I don't have anyone, my product is, is not working. So who is paying for all this? So, well, anyway, the day Regina Daniels posted her disclaimer that she doesn't use Jaroma products, this is the result. This is how much money Jaroma made from 2nd November. Mm? To 9th November, your bank statements for three years is only two pages. Your bank statement for three years is this is Jaroma's bank statement from the day Regina posted her disclaimer about Jaroma that she didn't use Kaimata, she didn't use Jaroma products. All of you, you want to? I've not been posting on Instagram because. We're all asking Jaroma, we need our we need our our products. Are you sending? Uh, you can you can go back so that they don't they don't see like you know my makeup is not so let's let's hide let's hide that from all of them. My hair, you're all you're all on my neck. Jaroma, where's our product? We're waiting, we're waiting. If you put out this statement today because of that name, Niger Pass Morocco, uh -huh. Jaroma Pass Aladdin, that name will never die because we will never stop using that name. Do you know the last time I was in your wife's house, Leila, the Moroccan that you said all these things about? I was in her house and I was looking at all the beautiful pictures, the kids and everything. And when I came to you, I was like, huh, Leila. And she looked and she said, handsome guy, right? Kai, you didn't do Leila right. This thing you published about Leila today, you didn't do her right. This woman loved you and she said only the kindest things about you. Even to me, oh, Regina's friend, she could still tell me that her husband is her handsome, her 74 year old husband. So this is it. You wrote your disclaimer last year about Jaroma. This is how much Jaroma, you call your friends in GT Bank and ask, how much did Jaroma make from 2nd November to the 9th of November after uh, Regina's disclaimer? Making Jaroma more popular by the day. Now, three weeks later, you have mentioned Jaroma again. So now, Omo, if I don't make like 500 million naira, oh God, I will not be satisfied. So this is it. It's only God, oh. God. You see me? Hey, it's only God. Because after Regina's disclaimer that she doesn't use Jaroma's products and Jaroma's kind of attack, I didn't know how it's going to affect the brand. I didn't know if it's gonna be good for the brand but for the what's going to happen? But God, um, God in His infinite mercy, did it for me. It worked in my favor. The disclaimer worked in my favor. The 1.3 million followers I didn't get for the two years of knowing Gina. Can you come and help me up? I can't even stand. <laughs> I can't even stand again. The 1.3 million followers I didn't get <sighs> from posting Gina. 
I got it in 24 hours. 1.3 million followers in 24 hours of her disclaimer. The 1.3 million followers I did not get in knowing Gina for two years, Regina Daniels, I got it. We understand that right in edge, you like fame. This thing you did today, you like, you know, being in the news. You marry Regina because you were a senator, you were a billionaire, you were a prince, but you wanted fame. You wanted to be, you know, famous and in the news and tension. Like Jaruma, you Jaruma is always in the news. Did you see the headline? I've been telling people for one year that I'm broke. I hide like this. I don't need to show background so that people won't say my rich background or who is sponsoring my lifestyle. For one year, I've been saying, Jeremiah is broke. I posted on my picture, I said Jeremiah is broke. Jeremiah doesn't lie. And Nigeria said Jeremiah is lying. Um, do you know what that means? That means nobody will dash me money. That is a lie. I said, you guys, I'm broke. I posted it. I said, I'm broke, I don't have money, help me. They said Jaruma is lying. They said it's a lie. You know? So now for all this time that I was, you know, avoiding all this, trying not to say and, you know, stuff like that. <coughs> okay. Here I am now, replying to you. Okay, so like I have like one million people here, and everybody's okay. Fix this, fix this, fix this. So uh, basically, I think I'll just mention everybody. I'll just show their faces so that everybody will be famous. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying, you want the fame, you know, you want to be in the news. The reason why me, I'm hiding behind it because I'm tired of fame. I'm tired of being in the news. So that's why I always hide so that people don't see my background or see who is sponsoring this her lavish lifestyle. Whose father is paying for it? Because she doesn't have that kind of money and she can't afford it. You're saying that Layla, Layla spent uh, $7,000, uh, 7,000 pounds in a hotel in London. What was 7,000? John Roma stays in Atlantis in Dubai, an Atlantis underwater suite in Dubai. It's 6 million naira per night. <laughs> and you say I don't have husband, but I have somebody that can pay 6 million naira per night, Sha, for two weeks. So you see, I hide because I don't want to be famous anymore. It's too much for me now. Everywhere I go, drama, 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 it's too much. When I want to go somewhere, I cover myself, I wear the makeup, I cover all black because I don't need, it's even too much for me. But I see you want it because there's no reason to publish what you publish today and then mention Jeremiah's name, something you've already done three years ago and do it again now unless you want this buzz, you know? You want this buzz, you want this fame. Daddy Ned, you know, your, your father, we love you. You know, when people offend me, if you notice on Instagram, Jeremiah doesn't mean to use abusive words. And you know, what's that? What's that? Your pig. Even the person you people call my daughter in Nigeria, when she wronged me, there was never an insulting word I used on her. Jeremiah doesn't use insults and abuses. No, that shows home training. My mother trained me well. I am northern a Hausa. I am from Tangali. I'm Tangali by tribe from Bilir local government in Gombe State. My mother trained me well. I don't abuse people. Even the one you call my daughter, I didn't abuse her. For class of you, Daddy Ned, that we see as a father. So, this is it. You said Jeremiah. Jeremiah's husband left her. Her brother is wanting how come her, 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 her husband left her. And I, when I told you when I'm the most bullied person in Nigeria, this is what my life has been for the past 10 years. At first, they said to you, if her, if her brother is working, how come nobody has married her? The billionaire that is paying for her to stay in Atlantis underwater suite in Dubai, why didn't he marry her? If her pussy was so good and her pussy was so sweet. Two years later, I married. They said to me, Zila, that I faked on my stage my marriage. They said I'm renting my husband, that I'm paying rent, my husband for rent. I got pregnant, still said it's a lie. Fake pregnancy. Later, they said, oh, the guy is broke. He doesn't have any money. 
He doesn't write every single day. There's always something new about drama. Do you know what they wrote about this, your, your statement, the headline? Billionaire sex therapist, Jerry Ma, who's always in the news for one reason or the other. And they say billionaire. Me, that have been saying I don't have money. I've been telling Nigerians, I don't have money, I don't have money. People like this, so that people don't see the background of where I'm in my videos. So, of course, if a 74 year old billionaire is attacking me, they will say Jerry is a billionaire now. That's it. So, it was a long day. I am grateful for the disclaimer last week and the disclaimer again today. As you can see, God is for me. You can ask your friends in GC Bank to tell you how much Jeremiah made from 2nd of November when Regina made that statement to the 9th of November. So I think I've said everything.